Hi and welcome back. Let's look at a little bit complicated thing that we can do in components. So we're going to create a component or group of components that will look something like this. You can see that the top part is the, the red part is basically where the color is being displayed. There's a label on the bottom part. Whatever the label is set, the color on the top square changes. So it has multiple components attached to it. One of them, the top part is a square, obviously. The bottom part is the label, but all of these or two components are also contained in a parent, which in this case is a card. Card will serve as a parent for the square and the label components. Now that you have an idea of that, let's go ahead and see how we can do that in real world. I'm going to delete all of this code that we rendered. We're not going to use hello world in this case. Let's go ahead and start with a square component. So create square, which will be a react.create class. Right now, to get started, obviously, you need to uh, simply return. I'm not sure why it's complaining over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and return something. So render function. And what, what you want to return is very, very important over here, right? So I'm going to say over here that I want to return over here, return. And right now, simply going to return a div element, and which will simply say square. There we go. All right. Now, of course, let's go ahead and display that. Or let's go work on the other one, which is the label, which is react.create class. And the purpose of label is to just display the label. It's not really any text entry going on. You are simply going to display the label. So render function and then return and then simply you can return a P over here, whatever you want to return in this case, FFF663C. All right. So these are the two components. Now we can package them together into another component and we can call them a card component, which will be a separate component consistent or being composed of these two components. So if I have to say render, what exactly are you going to render over here? Well, the rendering part is actually, we are going to render a square and we are going to render a label. But what did we learn in the previous lectures? You cannot return two items. If you want to return two items, you have to have a common root node. You have to put it inside, and that inside is the div. I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and display it. React DOM dot render, and let's go ahead and say that what do we have to render? So I want to render card, and card will be displayed inside the container. There we go. We actually got something to get displayed. I think this is a great progress, right? Let's give it some sort of a color. Well, let's give at least the card part of it a little bit of a color. So what we will do is we will go inside our render and we are going to create a card style. All right, that, that card style will be something. Um, let's go ahead and give it some sort of a background color. And this is, of course, we are assigning the color to our card. So I can simply say over here, style equals to uh, card style. And there we go. Of course, 
it will be nice if a card has some sort of a width and height so let's give it a width width is let's say 200 and height is also 200 and there we go looks much nicer now how about the square itself so let's go to the square and it doesn't really have any style associated with that so let's go ahead and give some sort of a style to square we're going to call it square style well, we'll start with the background color because we can easily change that. How about red to make it a little bit more distinguished? Of course, we have to apply the style. So let's go ahead and apply the style with the binding expression square style. Let's make sure that there is a certain amount of height to it. So height, the way we were giving the height over here is 200. So let's say that the height is at least 150. Looks nice. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and remove the square portion of it, the text square. It doesn't really serve anything for us. And there we go. You can also go ahead and if you want, you can go ahead and middle it or give it a different color and things like that. But we are far from over. We need to somehow give style over here or the color over here. So let's go ahead and give a color. I'm going to go ahead and find a really nice, maybe a purplish color. All right, I got it. Let me go ahead and paste it over here. So this is a color I'm really interested in. And this is the color that I'm passing it to the card because that is the parent. But how do I use that? How do I pass it to the square as well as a label? Right? So let's go ahead and create a color property over here also, which will be bind to the property self, not self, this dot props dot color. So this is a square. If I want to go ahead and change the square or change those properties, I can simply go over here and say this dot props dot color. And boom, we change it to purple. You see that how the information is flowing? We give it to the color, color passed it, I mean, we would give it to the card, card passed the color to the square, and finally square the style property or the object utilize the color that has been passed from the card object or the component assigns it and boom it gets assigned to the div and being displayed we can do the same exact thing if we want to and pass the color to our label so i can simply say color and this dot props dot color which is coming from the card right here and the color, the label is simply displaying it. So I can simply say this dot props dot color. And boom, it got changed to something else. So let's go ahead and I will create a different color now, or I would use a different color. I'm going to use some sort of a green color. So let's go ahead down over here and change that to green. Save it. And well, Maybe it was uh, green on a different monitor. Uh, div tag owner square was passed in numeric value. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass in a hash or this one. There we go. So we change it to the green color. So now you can see the power of components. We have a main component, the parent component called card. But card essentially is made up of two other components. The top portion is a square and the bottom portion is a label. And then you pass in these properties to the color, the name of the color or the hex value of the color to the square as well as the label. They get the property passed in from the card component, the parent component, and they use it in different ways. Square uses it to change the background color while the label uses it to simply display the information. So this is one of the most important lectures, and I highly encourage you to create 
this application from scratch and see how it all works, how you're passing the value from the parent and how it is getting it to the child components squared and labeled. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more.